My Lord, hear justness, hear what is right. Listen attentively to my prayerful cries of lament. Heed my prayer, made in words that contain no fraud, trickery, nor deal-making. My honest prayer to you. Let the judgment of me come from you. Let your eyes see the honesty and the integrity. You have examined my heart. In the hours of darkness, you have made a careful inspection of it in order to hold me accountable. You have refined my heart through fire, burning out the impurity. You will find that I have not planned to do evil, nor does evil pour out of my mouth. In terms of how a man acts, by following the instructions of your words, I have been watchful and observant in order to avoid the ways of the violent, the ways of the thief. I have firmly kept my footsteps in the tracks you have made, and my steps have not faltered. I have called out to you, my God, because you will respond to me. Please turn your attention unto me and hear what I am saying. Show me your marvelous concern, O helper of those seeking refuge in your strength, refuge from those rising against them. Please protect me as one does the pupil, the daughter of the eye. In the protection of your wings, shelter me from the wicked who deal violently with me. Shelter me from my mortal enemies who surround me. They have shut all warmth out of their hearts, and with their mouths they are coldly presumptuous. They have tracked me down and now surround me. Their eyes are set, fixed in their desire to stretch me out on the ground. Like a lion burning with desire to tear apart its prey, like a hungry young lion ready to pounce from its hiding place. Arise, my Lord, confront these lions and bring them down. Deliver me from these wicked ones. With your sword, save me. My Lord, with the strength of your hand, deliver me from these godless ones, from the peoples of this world, from those whose chosen inheritance is in this life, whose appetites are satisfied with merely the good things you provide, with merely taking satisfaction in having many children, with merely bequeathing their abundance to their children. But as for me, in righteousness I will behold your face. My appetites will only be satisfied when I am awakened in your presence.